Hello, this is Heather Hoffman, and I'm here today to share a card with you using an exclusive new release from Reverse Confetti. This is the Snowflake Stamp Set and Coordinating Snowflakes Confetti Cuts. These are going to be exclusive to the Reverse Confetti uh, website, not available anywhere else, so you can check out the details there on the website. But I'm going to be creating a fun inlaid shaker card. So I'm starting off with the Coordinating Confetti Cuts, kind of maybe doing this backwards of what you would... Um, normally think instead of stamping first and die cutting i'm going to use this to create my window in the front panel and once i have these all punched out i'm going to use the negatives to go ahead and stamp uh, the stamped images in there so i'll show you what i mean in just a minute but let me pull those snowflakes out of there real quick and as a side note you can set those aside and save those for another project i thought those were kind of pretty too so kind of a good two for one on that as well that you can use those for something else as well all right, my card base that I'm using here was created with Iced Aqua. It's one of my favorite reverse confetti colors. And I've already created a top folding card base. And then I'm using that white panel to set over the top. And into each one, I'm just pulling off the coordinating snowflake and lining it up in that negative space. Once I get them all lined up in there, this will allow me to stamp them all at the same time. I'm not um, putting them all in there once. And one little trick on those little fiddly ones, I don't know if they ever stick to your fingers. You can wet your fingers a little and it'll help kind of um, remove the, the static so they don't stick and it makes it a little easier to kind of wiggle them into place without them sticking back onto your fingers. All right, I got all those lined up in place and picking up the last pieces there so I have them all lined up on my Misty. Then as you can see there, I pulled off that white panel and now I can stamp them all with Midnight Dye Ink and they'll all be in the right place uh, to line up with that window over the top. So I am added a little more ink there at the bottom to make sure I had a clear impression. And there you can see that that all lines up nicely over the front, which is perfect. That's exactly what I want. And I'm, at this point I'm going to go ahead and trim a little bit off of the sides before I adhere that acetate panel on the back. That's going to create the window for the shaker. But I decided I wanted a little bit of a border all the way around the card. So that meant I needed to trim down my acetate window as well. I kind of decided that after the fact. Because um, I want that acetate window slightly smaller than that white panel. That way it won't poke out the sides. But I still want to make sure it goes all the way um, far enough to cover all the way around those snowflakes. Because I don't want any gaps or holes. Because that would be um, <laughs> a really good spot for my glitter to leak out. Um, I'm going to fill this with glitter instead of sequins. It's just kind of a fun different way to do a shaker card. All right, now that I have the acetate on there, I'm going to create the window portion. So I've got some wide foam adhesive tape and I'm just trimming it down into strips. The really important thing when you create a shaker card is to make sure you have a tight seal all the way around the edges. Any holes and your shaker filling will leak out really fast and that's not something you want. So I usually start with a wider piece of foam tape and I trim it to the longest length and then I cut my pieces down into strips that are wide enough to cover and you can see I go all the way to that edge and then use my scissors to trim it off so I make sure it's just tightly pressing on all those seams so that there's no little leak or open spot. So now I'm double checking that that fits over the top before I finish and I have another panel of acetate for the back. With the glitter and everything in here, I just wanted to make sure it was easier to adhere in place and I could see what I was doing. So I'm going to peel off that foam backing first off of those foam tape strips. And I'm filling this with chunky, um, just a clear iridescent glitter. It's really pretty and sparkly and it's fun with the snowflake effect. And then as you saw, when I press that acetate on, I make sure and press all the way around the sides to make sure I have a, a firm seal at each of those spots. Again, that would be another... Uh, a really quick way for your glitter to leak out and turn into a salt and pepper shaker instead of a shaker card like you want. All right, I used a little bit of sturdy adhesive hiding under that foam tape, adhered it in place, and then once I finished the video, I heat embossed a sentiment from the set on a little thin strip of midnight uh, cardstock, heat embossed in white, and put that in place over the top. There you go. Thanks so much for coming by today. I hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day.